for introductions. My name is Brian Doty. Um, I am a product manager with Dell and Dell's server management group. And I'm going to talk to you today about uh, at the server management is what I call it. Um, go ahead and go to the next slide. Um, there's a, a belief that the data centers are all completely dark, right? That nobody ever goes to the data center anymore. It's an extremely hostile environment. In fact, I think the previous uh, picture had some, some girls sitting with their laptop in the data center. That's a little unrealistic. But, but the truth is that customers go in their data center all the time. Uh, recent research I did just last year um, examined this, and I was shocked to learn that 90% of customers uh, that we talk to, and these are just IT pros, IT decision makers, people who choose the vendor that they purchase, not just the lowly IT pro, go to their data center at least once a week. 50% of them go daily, right? So it's surprising, but they, have, they find themselves always needing to go to the data center. So mo as much as we provide very powerful remote access capability, and we're gonna continue to do that, we felt it necessary to solve this customer challenge, a customer challenge that we measured. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do is, is enable customers who are at the server to be able to find their server product really quickly. Um, one thing that really also surprised me, I'm grab my statistic here, 90% of customers are still using spreadsheets to actually track their server hardware, right? Um, how do I find a server that's in a failed state if I go into the data center? I might have you know, thousands of servers and they might have blinky lights all over the place. How do I know which one it was, right? Well, customers going to the data center tend to have to use a device like this. This is a crash cart and I was told by my hardware lab, this is from the wild, right? Uh, Dell ITs, and I was told that if I mess it up, I pay for it, so I've got to be gentle with it. But anyway, uh, this is pretty crazy. It's, it's bulky, it's huge, um, it actually requires power. So one, a lot of the IT pros I talked to said, I hate this monstrosity, right? Why? Because I have to go find a place to plug it in. And a lot of times my cable's not long enough. It's a simple problem. You wouldn't think customers would have that problem. So they usually, they'll have, and I, I removed it, but there's a, a big giant, uh, uh, extension cable that hangs from the back of this thing, right? So that IT, Dell IT can go find a 120 volt port to plug it into along the wall where they, that's where usually the cleaners do vacuum will actually plug it in, right? Then I wheel it up and I connect USB and video to the server. Then I can interact with the server, right? So Dell, with the introduction of its 13th ge generation servers, <coughs> has tried to eliminate this problem. We want to get rid of this damn thing and <laughs> replace it with this. Uh, tablet or phone. So what you see on the screen here is, uh, is the capability that we've enabled on our servers. Today we use NFC enabled bezel. So you have to order um, a server with this bezel on it. You know you're ordering the right thing if you have this little device here. And what it enables us to do with NFC and an existing mobile app called OpenManage Mobile for Android or iOS. And by the way, this, will, this particular demo I'm showing you will only work for Android because iOS has locked down the NFC interface and we can't take advantage of it. But what I can do is quickly go into the data center. Maybe I'm looking for a server that's failed. Maybe this one has a failed state. I simply have to hit this button, hold my phone up here. Of course, once I log into it. And I can actually sync with this device. Pretty simple. So I can see uh, various information about the server, including uh, power state, uh, history, hardware logs. Anybody interested? Go to the. The camera. Yeah, was... Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have a video. So on the next slide, uh, because we really want to do a Chromecast kind of thing, but we weren't <laughs> able to today, uh, logistical issues. But uh, what I'll do is I'll show it on the screen real quick. But I also want, before I go there to the, the demo where you can all see what, what they're seeing here, is that a lot of customers in data center, I would say around 10%, say, no way, Jose. There's no wireless in my data center. You cannot bring your own device. You can even bring a laptop in there, some, some cases. Maybe there's a laptop already there or whatever, or they force you to use one of these monstrosities, right? Now, in the off case of that customer, you know, in that particular class, is okay not using one of these. I can bring my laptop, and I can bring a type, a simple USB cable, plug it into the front to a port called iDirect Direct, and I can go to a well-known IP address. It doesn't matter what server I'm connecting to. I always go to the same IP address. It's like 192.168.0.120 or something like that. And it will actually always go to the DRAC, right? So that way, I can actually do full KVM access. It essentially replaces this thing top to bottom, but I, it's even better because I can, I can access the Drax web GUI and access all of those automation features I talked about earlier directly from that interface, right? Pretty powerful. So what is the authentication? The authentication uses the iDRAC authentication. Okay, so the, your phone is automatically configured for the login for that? 
Well, so by default, the iDRAC, it will let you get basic information about the server. Okay. If you have physical access to the server, there's some level of sure. trust there. Sure. If you want to change the configuration, it'll ask you to log into that phone, okay. provide the iDRAC password, which okay. there's a well-known default that you could use. Um, and or if uh, if you know the password, you can you can type it in. How does your app support like LDAP authentication, centralized management, and stuff like that as well? Manoj, well, I don't think we have that today, do we? No, not yet. All right. But one thing you can do is that OMM also talks to um, Open Manage Essentials. So okay. if you're at the ball game with your son or something, right, right. Um, you can actually get an alert sent to you, a pop up notification through iOS or through Android, and actually do VNC if you want to directly to the DRAC, assuming you have. You know, access to that, that level back. So the great thing about this OMM app is it's not just local. It's also designed to help you remotely. It's the same app, okay. right? Let's go ahead and see a video real quick um, so you can see what everyone else is seeing. So you can see here, all of this person had to do is press the button on the front, and you can see uh, he held it up there for a few seconds and it synced through NFC. So this is highly secured. There's no broadcasting going on. It's just one-to-one -one peer communication. Um, they can do a DRAC configuration, set the IPv4, IPv6 settings. Um, Dell servers are equipped with an LCD, but if you are using IPv6, I don't, I would never want to use the LCD to set an IPv6 address, right? So this is great for that. Um, I can change uh, the password if I want to, I can reboot, I can change the first boot device. You know, a lot of these features won't be used, but you know, for someone who's doing some initial deployment and they want to do it really quickly, it's very easy. Um, so they could even join it to a console in the future if they wanted to. So if they're doing all their management through a console, join up to that console. Pretty powerful. So it's NFC it's because now. of physical proximity security right. as opposed to any other connection yes. technology. Now we're, we're looking, we had such a positive response on this feature. Customers like, thank you, you solved a huge problem for me, right? And Dell has already offered uh, pretty powerful capabilities with the LCD panel, so customers can actually go and interact with it. But a lot of times, the LCD panel's on a 1U rack server, it's at the bottom, yeah. they don't want to get down Break there. And this, they just have to hold it up and, and come back. But we've gotten already feedback on how you can make this even better. So you know, stay tuned. Our next generation servers will be even more powerful.